I don't think it's any concern, but um, you know, it's very notable. Um, been out since last Sunday, and uh, you know, obviously you'll want to play every other day or every other other day where you keep your rhythm. But um, I, I think the rest have done some good. Um, I don't think it can do any bad. I mean, we're still playing in the playoffs, so there's nothing bad about that. So you know, we just we go out tonight and uh, you know we play our game. Let's see what happens. Did you ramp it up the last couple of days in practice, just in terms of five and fives and stuff, just to well, kind of replicate that? When we went five on five, yeah. you know, uh, you know, it's a very delicate situation. You don't want to try to go too much, uh, but even when we weren't going five on five, I got some extra work in personally. Uh, you know, get my heart rate up. You know, get my you know my explosiveness back just to get back ready to play. So, uh, but nothing can ever simulate a game. You know, nothing can ever simulate a game, but. Um, I think we're excited about the opportunity that we have tonight. Well, when it comes to trash talking, they got a couple guys on that team that, that love to do it, and reputation for doing it. You as the leader of this team, do you encourage your players to kind of go back and forth with them, or you, you just you rather leave that stuff no, we on? We just want to play the game. Uh, we want to play the game and, and win at basketball, and that's all that matters. Um, you know, for me, um, you know, i got to understand how important you know the, the, the task at hand is and, and not the extracurricular activity. So, you know, my, my main focus is on how I can defeat these guys tonight and then going forward. You mentioned defense and rebounding as the team keys for the series. But when you go up against a Tom Thibodeau defense, is there anything personally that you have to do differently? No, you have to be a very you have to be aware um, of their activity, not only from you know the Taj and, and the Powell and, and the Joe Kim, but also the J Jimmy snagging in there and, and Mike Dunleavy and Rose and, and Snell and all those guys. They they all you know try to get extra possessions and. Uh, you know, we have to understand that we have to have bodies on bodies. Um, if you don't have a body, then go help somebody and then uh, and try to clean glass. Ron, uh, did you use a number of different combinations against you guys in the regular season? Even I think you used Mary Lynch, some of the three. But are you expecting Jimmy to have a primary assignment? Um, yeah, I mean, I expect Jimmy to be on me as an assignment, but, um, you know, he will have a lot of eyes and ears behind him um, and in front of him to help him out, you know, and call to keep the success. I mean, if you guys know Tibbs, if y'all can hear, um, Tibbs is always barking out the deeper the calls, you know, um, throughout the whole game. You know, it's still surprising me that he hasn't lost his voice completely. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's almost like it's just like all, all automatically raspy from just him just yelling all the time. So, uh, you know, Jimmy will be that guy that, that will be the head-to-head -head matchup, but it's never just a one-on-one -on -one matchup. You've played against 